Yo, I gotta get one thing straight. You gotta tell me this shit though. Why your girl bump? I don't wanna pop my goddamn trunk. I don't wanna smoke myself with a skunk. I don't wanna push myself out of love. Huh? Okay. Last night, your mommy wanted the pipe. When your mom mama down, broke a thong, tears strong, splashing in the game. My Britney must have playing water pong. Immediate the pipe, let's go immediate the top. If I immediate the top, let's go strap it like the top. If I strap it like the top, then my sounds won't flop. If my sounds don't flop, yeah, fuck a normal jug, yeah, got it never bought. 48,000 gigabytes of photos and videos over the last five years of shooting. I'm a little bit of an addict. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Kaushikar, I'm a travel photographer and today I'll be showing you how I organize every single bit of my memory cards. These are all the photos and videos I've taken over the last five to six years of production. I have a bit of a confession. I've been very irresponsible and very lackadaisical with the way that I back things up and it finally caught up with me. A couple of weeks ago, I hadn't had a shoot in like a month and I went out to shoot. Uh, drove all the way up to Nashville. I was very, very happy with the stuff that I shot, but I forgot to double back up the content. It was a client project. It was the first client project that I've had since the whole coronavirus outbreak. So this was, uh, this was very important to me. I got back home, was very happy, reclining, looking back through my files, and I figured that I had not double backed up my gear. I think I had left one of the uh, vital memory cards in the Airbnb back in Nashville. Till today, I still can't find that memory card. Now, if I had done my usual thing, I would have had it double backed up, triple backed up, and quadruple backed up to different memory cards and different SSD drives and different, like, backed up on the internet and I would not be in this position that I am today. So I wanted to use this opportunity to remind myself of how I double, triple, quadruple back up all my files and show you how you can back up all your files as well. I want you to know that the most important factor when it comes to backing up your files is redundancy, redundancy, redundancy. You wanna create as many duplicates as possible across both the internet and your physical drives that in case any of your files corrupts, you'll be able to retrieve it as soon and as quickly as possible. That way, you're not tied down to any one single file and you don't encounter the same problem that I, that I encountered a couple of weeks ago when I needed to retrieve these client project that I was working on and I did not have it backed up. I didn't have it uh, backed up because I was just being careless and lazy. So what I have here holding in my hand here is about 12 terabytes of, um, of, of drive of SSD, but in actuality, it's six terabyte of drive duplicated in two places. So I have my, the first one that I started using in mid 2019, and I have a duplicate of that. I have the second one that I've been using since the beginning of the year, and I have a duplicate of that. And then I have my video drive that I use and a copy of that. And then when I had that, I copy everything that I had over to this giant, giant guy. This is a 20 terabyte Lacey drive that I used to duplicate all my stuff. Even after I have it in two places, I duplicate all my stuff on this one. And then a couple of months after when I'm done with the project, I take everything that I have on this and duplicate it to a cloud. I, I have a, a premium membership that I use for Amazon. Uh, I think it's called Amazon Drive. And I take all my files from this and I duplicate it onto the drive. And that helps me a lot when it comes to organizing my files. So that, that's how I do it. Okay, before I even keep talking about all these abstract concepts, I'm gonna actually open up my folders and show you how exactly I organize my files because it is very important to keep your files organized so that if you need to retrieve something quickly or if you need to access a client file that they want you to edit, you can go back as far as possible and it'll be as quickly as possible. Remember again, the most important thing when it comes to organizing your files is redundancy, redundancy. So I'll show you, I even have a couple of extra backups here. I have my one terabyte and two terabyte plugged in uh, just so that I can get, snoop around and show you how I have everything organized. But I have a folder already set up here with uh, three sample images from my friend, Joel, um, that I took in Portugal a while back. So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna pretend like I just took these photos and I wanna back them up in my folder. This is exactly what I do to make sure that all my files perfectly organized. I'm gonna click on SSD one just so that you can see how I have everything, have everything set up. I have um, the two years that I'm currently working on, 2019 and 2020, and then I have the exports, then I have the tools, and then I have work. Inside work, it has everything from my business cards to my tax files to the invoices that I sent. That's what goes in the work. I'm not gonna click in it because I know y'all are snoopy as hell, so inside, that's what goes in the work. But if you, if you click on tools, for example, I'm gonna go to this, uh, 
the second SSD. If you click on tools, you can find everything that I use for my videos and my, my photos. I also have my video, video tools. I have LUTs, I have uh, photo overlays, presets, all the things that can help me, assist me in creating better content different fonts, all that stuff I put in the tools folder. In the export folder, we're gonna get to that later. That's where all my exports go to, but I'm, first I'm gonna show you how I back up my stuff. So if you click on 2020, you can see I have 2020.4, 5.6. This denotes what month I'm currently working on. So four would be April, five would be May, and then six would be June. Okay, so pretending like we just took those photos of Joelle today on today's the uh, 9th of June. So I'll, I'll create a, no, a, a new folder. Um, this is the second project I'm working on in June, so I'll put two space hyphen, and then I'll title the project Joel Portraits. Then I'll go in here, I'll create a folder for my catalog, I'll create a folder for all my raw images, and I'll create a folder for the videos that I took during the project. And this is what I do for every single folder. For example, if we go back to uh, this project, for example, Bowling Bikes is when I was in Kentucky with a friend, I shot it. If you double click in there, you'll see I have my catalog, which contains my catalog, my Lightroom catalog for editing my files. Then I click on raw, you can see I have everything organized by day and I have it organized inside by who shot the photos, uh, depending on if I have multiple assistants or multiple friends shooting with me. And then inside the video, I have it organized by whatever scenes we were shooting. So for example, if you click on flowers, it means that we were shooting a whole bunch of flowers. This is what I do. I have everything perfectly spaced out so that if I need to go into my folders and retrieve a file quickly, I know exactly what to look for. I find that organizing your files this way makes everything very simple. So for example, these photos that we just have right now, this is the example folder. Like I said before, I go into 2020.6, go into Joel's folder and I would put them in the raws here. I put day one because I shot them on the first day and I would put Carl or maybe Joel shot some photos too, but I took these. Then I double click into Carl and I drag them from my memory card and move them over there. And that is how I would make sure that all my files, all my files are organized. Now, when, uh, when I'm done editing a, a bunch of photos and I have a whole bunch of exports, what I do is I'll, I export them to this folder called the hero folder. So these are images that I've recently exported in this year of editing. I have every single export on every single hard drive. A couple of months ago, um, Condé Nast, these guys reached out to me and say that they would like to use this image here for, for a print and they knitted it very, very last minute. So for example, if I didn't have that file on every single drive that I traveled with, I would have had, this one says def O, this is an ancient drive. This is where the file was. It was here at home. If I didn't have the, my exports from every single shoot that I had, then I wouldn't be able to produce this image, which would have meant missing out on business, missing out on being on the front page of Condé Nast. So I think it's very, very important to make sure that all your files, all your final exports, duplicated across every single hard drive that you carry. That way you can access your, your high-res hero images at any single point and possible. For example, if you, if you try and see how much space is this export folder taking up, we'll get the, we'll get the information here. It's only taking up about 30 gigabyte of space. That means on every single folder, it'll, you'll, you'll lose 30 gigabyte of space, but it means getting quick and rapid access to all these images as quickly as possible, and that's very important. I find that a lot of people have different systems to making this work for themselves, but so long as you figure out a system that works for you and you stick to that system as you move forward, accessing your files and, and being organized is gonna be very, very easy. All right, um, that's it, guys. Hey, 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 don't, don't go anywhere. Make sure to like the video. I know you're about to leave, but uh, I hope this video was helpful in some sense. To, to let you know how I usually back up all my files. I know it's kind of hard to show all the inner workings of my all my drives, but I hope you might've learned a few things or, or, or two, like for example, redundancy, redundancy. It's important to double, triple, quadruple back up your gear so that you're, you're not lost anytime you wanna access an old file. If you have final exports, it's, it's important to make sure that those are duplicated across all your folders. If you have tools that you use to create, it's important to make sure that all those 
are duplicated across every single one of your drives. That way you have access to your tools and access to your images as quickly as possible. Um, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I know if you've made it to this far in the video, that means you're, you're I don't know why you're here, but, but thank you for watching. I appreciate it. So I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Why you girl bum? I don't wanna pop my goddamn trunk. I don't wanna smoke myself with a scum. I don't wanna push myself out of love. I don't huh? Got good brain, but I'm dumb. Think I got a diamond ring, I'll put it on my tongue. Think I gotta ask your girl where she from. Think I gotta pipe your thought, then I run. Yeah, baby.